Okay, so we're going to start off. I can add and subtract fractions. I believe this is page 23 of the spiral. And there's two kinds of fractions. We have fractions with like denominators. And fractions with unlike denominators. So for instance, with like denominators, if I have 5 eighths plus 1 eighth, that's pretty simple. We keep the eighths and we add the numerator. 5 plus 1 would give us 6. But fractions can always be simplified. At least we need to always look and see if it's possible. Both 6 and 8 can be divided by 2. So this can be reduced to 3 over 4. Working with like denominators is pretty easy. Once we have the denominator being the same number, all we do is transfer it to the answer to begin with. Basically, we're adding things that are cut into eighths. And one group has 5 eighths and the other has 1 eighth. We combined them, and then we simplify to get 3 fourths. Of course, we always like to talk about pizza with fractions, right? But this happens in real life. If you're having pizza with friends, and you've got more than one kind of pizza, what happens when everybody's finished? Whatever's left over gets put into one box, right? So you might have 5 eighths of the cheese pizza left, and one-eighth of the pepperoni left. But if you put them all in one box, you basically have three-fourths of a pizza stove, just different kinds. Does that make sense? Okay. What about when we subtract? Again, with like denominators, it's pretty simple. Actually, let's change that to a nine over 11 minus 4 over 11. Working with like denominators, we're just going to keep the denominator the same. We have something cut into 11 There's 9 of them, and we're taking 4 away. That's going to leave us with 5 over 11. We want to look at 5 over 11 and see if it can be simplified. Both 5 and 11 are prime numbers, so it can't be simplified, so we're done. Okay? Now let's get to the more challenging, unlike denominators. This is one I wish we were working with decimals instead. They take a little bit more work, right? So what if I have 5 over 6 plus 7 over 8? Again, thinking about that idea of pizza, one of the pizzas is cut into six and the other's cut into eights. And in order to add them together, they need to be in the same size slices. So we need to change this. And I wanna start thinking about common denominators. What are six and eight gonna have in common? Well, the obvious is to go to 48, because you can just multiply 6 and 8. But 48, if we're cutting things into 48, that's really tiny, right? Is there something else we can come up with that's lower? 24. 24? Mm -hmm. OK. So if I think about 6, I've got 6 times 2 would be 12, times 3 is 18, and times 4 gets us to 24. So we're going to rewrite this as something over 24 plus something over 24. What am I multiplying 6 by to get to the 24? This is getting multiplied by 4, so this also has to be multiplied by 4. And we get 5 times 4 would be 20. And then we have to think about 8. 8 gets multiplied by 3 to get 24, so 7 also has to get multiplied by 3 and we end up with 21. 
20 plus 21 gives us 41 over 24. And that can be reduced to a mixed number of 1 and 17 over 24. So whatever this was that was cut up, we have one whole left plus 17 out of 24 pieces. It's quite a bit. Either one of these is okay. Notice I put or. You don't have to put it into a mixed number. You can leave it as the improper fraction. What if I have two thirds minus three fourths? We need to think of a common denominator and the lowest common denominator of three and four is 12. So we're going to reset this up as two fractions over 12. We want to think about 3 times 4 gets us this 12. So the numerator has to also be multiplied by 4. 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times 4 is 8. This fraction, we're going from a denominator of 4 to 12, so we multiplied this by 3. That means the numerator also has to be multiplied 3, giving us 9. Now here's where this gets a little bit different from when you guys have done these in the past. If I have 8 twelfths minus 9 twelfths, I'm going to end up with a negative 1 over 12. And you think about the numerators just like we were thinking about whole numbers on the number line. If I start up there at 8, and I come down 9, I'm going to end up at negative 1. So when you guys are doing your work, you might see a few things that look a little crazy because we are in 7th grade math working with positive and negative fractions as well. So let's try one that has a negative plus a positive, and they have unlike denominators. So negative 7 eighths plus 3 fifths. Negative 7 eighths plus 3 fifths. We want to get a common denominator for 8 and 5. I think the lowest one is going to be 35. Can you guys think of another one? We have 16, 24, Did I say 35? Yes, 40. I was thinking 6, but that wouldn't work either. Anyway, we're going to go up to 40. 8 and 5 don't have a common denominator until you get to the number where the two of them are multiplied together. So this is going to be times 5, and this is going to be times 8. All right, so negative 7 times 5, we would have a negative there's my 35, that's probably what I was thinking of, over 40, plus a positive 3 times 8 would be 24. And again, we're thinking of the numerators just like whole numbers on the number line. We know that this fraction is going to end up over 40. And when I look at this, I have a negative 35, so I'm starting way down below. A positive 24, so I'm going up 24. Am I going to make it past zero? No, I'm going to still be at a negative. So we're looking for the difference between 35 and 24, and that's 11. But it's a negative 11. Okay. So I'm going to have you guys go on your contract and practice a few of these problems. There are a couple of the problems that are word problems. If you look at them and you can't figure out how to set them up, I'm going to encourage you to go log into the textbook and watch the example three video.
And if that doesn't help, check with me, okay? So here are the numbers I want you to add to your contract. Page 178, numbers 10 through 27. Again, 26 and 27 are word problems. So for 26 and 27, you might want to go watch the example three online video.